sprinting actually feels pretty fast. It's nice that I can... Oh, shit. Who are you? Six, six full of t Okay, sweet. Okay, that's, that's exactly what we want. Okay, so if we're still, he doesn't notice us too much. Is there anyone around? Okay, there is another guy. If I kill this guy, will he scream? Huh? Oh, fuck you. I'm obviously not good at stealth yet. Oh, fuck you. Where's my knife? There we go. Alright, let's try out this assault weapon. Damn, that's very good. Rip. Didn't even see these guys. Hopefully I can sell some of these items. We're looking pretty good on ammo, too. Let's make... Um... I don't like this shotgun too much right now, so let's... Keep it on there, but I need this second weapon to be here. Okay. Wow. Okay, this is cool. Got some marauders down there. Don't know how I'm going to stealth this. Are they marauders? Oh, no. They're good. They're good. This is cool. Whoa, hey, where'd you come from? What's up, Silas? Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. Did people keep telling me that, and I'm just, just killing all a bunch of marauders? You talk too pretty for a marauder. Most of them just grunt and yell. I can grunt Ain't and yell if you want, here. Silas. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Everyone is just trying to sell me shit. I don't get it. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's I killed Silas. about seven people Junior before I saw you, so I think I'm okay. Bar. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Well, nice to meet you, Silas. Um. Yeah. Got a knack for being discreet like? There's money to be made, as long as you keep your nose clean. Everyone's a goddamn rat, dude. is a company, board-owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a might delinquent in paying their dues, you see? Okay. Um. All right, I guess I'll be Four a bounty hunter. still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig... And Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. I'm all for it, buddy. Alright. Actually, uh, where can I find these Fancy people? Threads. That some kind of hibernation suit? Yeah? Um... You know what? Never mind. I don't feel like going through that again. What's up, man? How are your knees? Taking any arrows to the knees yet? Oh, wait, this is not a Bethesda game. I apologize. Is that... Cotton? What is that? That's not creepy at all. That's funny. The windows are fake. I guess we know what kind of game we're playing. That's kind of cool. All right, let's go inside. It's a very pretty game.
Alright, I realized we weren't even on Ultra, so I just turned it up to Ultra. There we go. I wouldn't do that. I don't really know if I should put this away. How do I put it away? Okay. Same controls as Fallout. <laughs> Salt tuna. I have some of your tuna right here. Good shit. Can I take this? Okay, no one's looking. Oh. We're thieves now. That's how we do it. I mean, respecting the cell, stealth and lying, so why not be a charismatic thief, you know? Some read. Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. Okay. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. I don't have a uniform. Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Okay, everyone seems to work for Spacer's Choice. And I'm assuming it's a corporation that has a lot of shit going down on the inside, you know what I'm saying? Only regulator we've got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Sure. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. You know, it's like a Klondike bar at this point. I'll do whatever I can for this goddamn regulator. Um, I know exactly what he means by mostly abandoned, so let's just the tell me about it. The plant was built by our owners, Spacer's Choice. Lit up the whole Vale once upon a time. Most of the veil is now abandoned. All that power is going to waste. We could use the power. Cannery's been struggling. If we don't ramp up productivity, the company might cut us loose. Right, I was I not entirely it. sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Marauders aren't people. Yikes. The people living in the botanical labs. They're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. I don't like My you. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Sounds kind of Before you go sadistic. to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go. And that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Sounds like I'm gonna die. Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. All right. Yeah. I am asking you to help us survive. What about them surviving, Edgewater bro? Needs more workers, or we will collapse. We belong to one community. The See what would happen if I just if we stopped talking to this fucker and just shot him in the face. I don't, I don't um, you know, not like him that much, but all right. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss. I do like her, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine, and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. 
Um. Sure. Right. Why not? I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Very well, welcome. I'm to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Okay. Companions. Good thing I didn't take the lone wolf trait. Okay, real quick, let's figure out. Uh, um, if you want to help me, maybe you'll stay here, I'm not sure, but I, I need to go take care of some things in the city before we leave. So, let's do that. Oh, hello. You are coming. You look very bored. I can walk right through you. Realism. All right. Hey, mister, can we talk? Sorry. Can what we do you chat? need? To, uh, sure. Whatever. Sorry. I. You just want to get out of here, and you likely don't want to tag along like me. I said it's yes just, to your help. Mr. Stop Thompson being dramatic. Has his own view on matters, on account of it's his job and, and what all, but that's not the only side of the tale. I know. Oh. He ain't a liar. He believes every word he says. It's just, he doesn't always get where other folk are talking from. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Okay. Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got one and the rest. And I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet. Mr. Thompson's aiming I do need that power the regulator. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Stop giving me people to talk to. Whatever. That's cool. It's very cool. All right, let's go to this closest place, I guess. Oh, there's someone in there, whatever. Let's go here to ruffle up some feathers. Yes, so, oh, we're starting with Martin. Come on in, come on. We gotta close the door. This guy's the hard one. We don't wanna cause any, get the, get the fuck in here. Party, come on, get in, get in. What is your problem? Jesus Christ. Well, uh, did, uh, did Mr. Thompson send you? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. Yikes. Um. You some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state? That's me. That's, uh, Alex Hawthorne. Um... Yeah, let's just get to it. knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. He knows you're gonna die? <sighs> I'm dying. Yep. I'm not That's what I thought. for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching. And soon I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the skies. Yikes. Don't say that, Mr. Abernathy. You still got a couple decades in you. I'd steer clear, Ms. Holcomb. My affliction's bound to be contagious. It's plague. Has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one plague. foot in grave, and now he wants to charge me for the other one. Um. God, I care too much. Um, uh, I don't want to be completely mean. Uh, let's, let's go in between. I am? Law, help me. Paranoia is one of the plague's known symptoms. Bro, calm down. I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble from Silas. But if you could see a way to freelancing for me, I could really use the help. Yeah, it sounds like we've got a lot to do. Um... 
There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. Sure. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, Lord, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. How do you feel your spleen, bro? All right, whatever. We'll get out of your hair. Are you going to notice me if I just take this? I'm robbing a sick man. I'm sorry. Okay. What do you got in your fridge? Oh, buddy, I don't know what this is, but I want it. Oh, shit. Mock apple j necklace? Where's that? He's gonna think, hmm, who came into my room in the past two hours and stole all my stuff. <laughs> Literally st I don't know what that is, but that looks fun. Alright. Um, I have other people to attend to, and I'll get your medicine eventually. I have a lot going on. Okay. See ya. You're making a mistake working for Abernathy. What? I don't want to talk... <sighs> you know what? No. I'm, I'm not going to I'm not going to get into this right now. Okay. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling. You're not even jars. questioning why I just walked into your Physical house. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. <sighs> no, thank you. That's quite all right. I've seen enough body parts in my she line likes. of work. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. Aesthetic you standards? You will also report to me in the event of your death. Whereupon, I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Okay. Um. Ah, give me your dues. Gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. Your fancy talk won't uh, get away from this. As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I, I do not cannot like afford you. it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. Wow, low self-esteem. Um. Yeah, I don't really With care. What? My own blood? Tell Silas. I can't afford to pay, and that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Medical rights. Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own Seems savings. like everybody here has got the damn plague. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers. No, that won't do. <laughs> Your idea intrigues okay. me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. Silas? Um... Sure. Much obliged. Okay, that was, uh... Not easy, I didn't... Is this his lucky pair? No one turns and looks at you in this game. You can steal everything. Why do you trust me in here, bro? Why do you have heavy ammo in your... Uh, you know what, we're not gonna talk about it. We're just... Is this a dead body? You piece of shit. Goodness. Okay, that's uh, it's kind of messed up. 
I don't like you. Again, you, I don't like you. Something about you is a bit strange, so we're gonna leave. Um, alright, let's go here. Um, a factory. You guys are kind of intimidating looking. So you the new worker? Whatever. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. Oh, you're already being mean to me. Shit. Silas still on about that. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. <sighs> sure. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. Oh. If you're not familiar with board law, you ought to be. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. Alright, I don't care. I, I want to get to my other quests, and you are mean to me, so... This is kind of an interesting place. I'm not gonna hack into this right now. Ooh. I don't think we need anything right now, but this is cool. It's cool to know these exist. Again, back to stealing. Got it. Oh, sweet. We have a helmet now. Oh, there's so much stuff. Let's put this helmet on. Very cool. Hopefully they don't, like, notice. Like, hey, that's our helmet. What the hell are you doing with it? It's fine. Okay. Not really sure what we need this for, but I'm taking it. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's continue. I'm not sure... I don't, think I, wanna, I don't think I want to go there yet. Almost lost a finger in the cannery today. Sucks for you. I've never actually been in here. Seems scary from the outside. I'm looking for Phineas. But I'm not seeing him. Alright, I guess... Who do we have left? Okay. Let's head outside then. I guess he's at the guard landing. No, you're just Silas. Ludwig, there you are. Alright, let's go talk to Ludwig, and then we'll pick up the quests again next time. Ah! Ow! That was a lot further than I thought it was. What's up, bro? Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Everyone thinks I work for them, by default. It's really strange. You ever swung a truncheon? 
Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. Everyone's goddamn delusional. Alright. So we got the dues from most everybody who's left. Alright, just Conrad, so we'll figure that out next time. And with that, Parvati and I are going to go uh, take a nap, I guess. We'll see you next time on The Outer Worlds. Thanks for watching, guys.